I think we've all been affected to some degree with this economic downturn. I know I have in my job. I just read an article where 40% of people that make $40,000 or less are out of work. I don't know what's happened to you. I pray that you are standing strong and that you're trusting God and you're not letting the anxiety or the fear of the potential future get to you in our economic times. Let's talk about this in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. It would be so easy to allow fear to enter us if we're not sure where our next paycheck's coming from. If we feel like we have to rely on the government to take care of us, nobody wants to do that. There's a great story that I want to quickly remind you of to hopefully encourage you today. It's found in 1 Kings, the 17th chapter, and it's Elijah who's directed to a widow who has one son, and she is making her last meal all out of flour, all out of oil, and then planning on dying. Listen to how the story goes. Uh, Elijah went and asked her for some water. He said, I'd like a drink. And she went to get it. And he said, and while you're at it, bring me something to eat. And he said, and she said, as, as I swear, as surely as your God lives, I don't have so much as a biscuit. I have a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a bottle. You found me scratching together just enough firewood to make a last meal for my son and me. And after we eat, we'll die. Here's Elijah. He said to her, don't worry about a thing. And that's what I want you to hear. Don't worry about a thing. Go ahead, do what you've said, but first make a small biscuit for me. God tells us first do what he says. First give of ourselves to God, give of our finances to God, and then listen to what happens. Um, he said, go ahead, make it, but uh, let's see, go ahead and make a meal with what's left for you and your son. And this is the word of the God of Israel. The jar of flour will not run out and the bottle of oil will not become empty until the drought is over. She went right off and did it just as Elijah asked. And it turned out, as he said, daily food for her and her family. Can I encourage you to believe that God cares, loves you so much that he will take care of every aspect of your life. He will provide for you. So if you're in a situation where the economy has hit you, you don't know where your next check's coming from, you don't know where your next meal may be coming from, can I just ask you to trust God? Do what he says, be obedient, give to him first, and then watch how he works in your life. He will do it. He's a sovereign God, a loving God, and he loves you very much. He will provide all of your needs according to his riches in glory. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.